What up, Hell Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again, here with my husband. If you have already watched uh, part one of Max Soar's An Incorrect Summary of Metal Gear, you know that I have reclaimed my sweater. It's the same day. Okay. I've been robbed okay. in real time. Because it's my sweater, <laughs> okay? We got it in a size that we could both wear. We, we got it in a size we could both wear? But it's my sweater. You got it a size too small. It fits me like no, a t-shirt. No, I got it the right size. I asked you what size I should get it. It's you like told a, me this size. It's a snuggling shirt. It's the perfect size for me. Anywho, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. So, um, we already watched the first part of why do I keep like hitting, like make it get my point across? So we already watched the first part on Chavez's channel. There was a lot going on. There was a lot happening. I have more context about this thing than I think I've ever needed to have. Yeah, I didn't, hmm. You know, I just didn't realize there was so much bionic booty, you know? <laughs> like I just, I wasn't aware that that was just like a thing that we were going with for this series. Um, and I still don't really know what it's about. Well, apparently Obama is kidnapped and we're in the middle of chopping people up into sashimi sized slices yeah. to find him. That's no, he's we're... already dead. He got murdered already. Oh, that's right. They stabbed yeah. him through the chest yeah. and then we fought Slinky like, Man. And it was, yeah, it was yeah. terrible. Anyway, I'm excited to get to part two. It's like he a called Slinky this... Bionicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called this Sons of Obesity. Nice. So. We're in I don't know where he's going with that. Flash warning. I'm excited to see what this video has in store for us. There's so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The flashing part. If you're epileptic, really take a look. Well, don't take a look. Metal Gear Rising Sons of Delivery and DiGiorno is my yes. favorite political and economic simulator well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. The answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper, a man, probably, on a quest to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be more confused than an American at a salad bar. Damn. But also, I'm glad to know that it's not just because, like, I can't keep up with Maxor that this video game doesn't make sense. This video game just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, Asha's Wrath level of writing. <laughs> they did a good job putting it together, but it's, it's mashed potatoes. It's a mess. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns yeah. of the Priests. But as for now, our Thanks. protagonist, Raiden with Biden, is forced <laughs> to argue with a decapitated head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What boots with the fur? <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, yeah. learning the true Thanks. meaning of based through Thanks. The slaughter of the unmelanated. Redemption. True redemption. You know how people talk about like the LGBTQ agenda, uh -huh. right? I wonder if people who are worried about... Uh, replacement theory and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what they're worried about. The yeah. slaughter of the unmelanated. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's just, yeah. Many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, <laughs> finally finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable damn. stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need a token black person. What the fuck? Key and Peel, <laughs> this blood loss has made me delirious. <laughs> Tell me a story. There once was a silent I don't know. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel <laughs> lobby, hosted by Mr. Mosby. Not Mr. Mosby. <laughs> After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> he talked about the Mr. Mosby thing, and we all know that I grew up watching Disney Channel. Copious amounts, yes. That specific episode mm -hmm. is the episode where he's teaching London Tipton how to drive. Wait a minute. No, you're not <laughs> running from this. The exact episode that he showed here at the beginning yeah. of the thing. This fried meme, yeah. you can decipher to the exact episode? Because <laughs> he says, it's where he's teaching London Tipton to drive. Zo zoom in on it. So she can see all, that's all she got to see. 
for like 0.2 seconds. Well, it's because I heard what he said. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I just said. But it's where he's teaching London Tipton how to drive. Yeah. And she's talking about the Prindle. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What is the Prindle? He dropped F-bombs well, on the show? Well, he doesn't say Oh, you're fuck. paraphrasing. <laughs> but she's talking about the gear shift. Uh-huh. And he's like, you know, he's very frustrated with her. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, and so when he says that, when he says there's a, she's like, oh, let's listen to some tunes or like the radio or something. He's like, yeah, great. Would you like am or foom? <laughs> so anyway, when I tell you guys I watched Disney, I watched Disney Channel. I could probably give you a solid synopsis of almost every episode of Hannah Montana up until like the last two seasons. I think I would watch that. Same with Sweet Life. Yeah. Same with Sweet Life on Deck. I'd watch like... that too. <laughs> and every time somebody goes in a hotel lobby, do you think Zach and Cody probably could be here somewhere? No, but every time I use the bell cart or have uh, somebody, uh, I'm like, yeah. Got it. Anyway, That's so perfect. I can't sorry. just did that. I, <laughs> I as soon as he said it, I was like, should I talk about it? Should I talk about the fact that I know the exact episode? Yes, you should. But there you go. It's like the third Disney reference he's made. I'm, I'm surprised you're just now t- turning in with it. <laughs> After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. Oh my this was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Yeah. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? <laughs> Please destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all cost, to a classic stealth one game named Metal cost. Gear Solid. Kanye loves that joke. We're continuing. Two, we're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. You're too late, Corn Pop. I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> we use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging wow. the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs dead. through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam Damn. look like clown college. Damn. We even have have a Richard Nixon. Oh, As you can see, the situation has escalated. I'm a Huey and I'm That's fucking Alex Jones ranting in the What is up, gamers? Max. Okay, I don't know what time this game came out, but that whole sequence really reminded me of this game. Oh, God, what is it? It's called Ninja Blade. Right, and yes. it's full of a bunch of quick time yes. events just like that. Like that whole scene, I was like, "That's like either Ninja Blade stole this, or they stole this from Ninja Blade." It's definitely because... a popular concept in this whole like quick time yeah. event. Yeah, that very was, good. That was very familiar to me. I was like, "Yeah, I remember you might dying." Really during enjoy this. this game. Yeah, yeah. Amazon headquarters. I'm what dead. is up, gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be entering the um the, the what the fuck? <laughs> so it turns out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese <laughs> culture, like a really big fan of Not Japanese like culture, to the extent up. that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn Oriental, it's killing dolphins. Oh! Raiden traverses the Hidden Leaf Village with the DK crew. Or you can't say these and enters things. the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bone's wild ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? <laughs> Space colony. Oh golly, oh Geo Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? Nice. So I want everyone to meet my cool and original name. boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These uh-huh. fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. Yeah. So now we're forced to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge yeah. testicles. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very bad. <laughs> Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. Oh, oh, Jesus! God damn it. God damn it. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good move never again, dies, again. Chad. 
God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow, and he, he's a nice cock. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. And kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? War crime this, can't eat the drywall that. Microwaving mice is wrong, they say. Wait, what the fuck? Not what? to work. Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. How this else is a, a man supposed to make his you? impact? Mommy. You refrigerated a preschool for what? fucking JPEGs. <laughs> Not refrigerating the babies. Oh my god. You think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino is just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit! <laughs> Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like never. the good old days after 9-11. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Let's debate this on the roof. Real quick. Do you yeah. just blow up the room with the baby brains in it? I think he's gonna have to kill these kids. Yeah, yeah. you have to, you have to, like, cause the other option is they just exist as these baby brains. brains. with eyes, yeah. You gotta, you gotta murder them. Attached to electrolyte yeah. stickers. They gotta go. Somebody's gotta do it. Yeah. Might as well be Robot Man. Turn off his pain receptors and get it popping. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And ah. there ain't enough room in this preschool for the two of us. Like I said, kids are cruel, Jack. And I love my <laughs> Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for Sir, some reason, a helicopter, helicopter, Go Go Gadget Concealed wow. Carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack of human empathy. Nice. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but his health is the length of a Cambodian life in 1977, meaning once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment yeah. way, featuring Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. But if you do this, you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. It is nice. This is as bad shit as it looks. Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item as we board a helicopter being driven by a d uh, d how, doctor how did you get an aircraft <laughs> oh credit card debt. of course by the way Raiden do you remember that bank you sent to the past times it was like carving a pumpkin well I think you missed one I can't go to prison Raiden why because you play Genshin no Raiden I'm a Nazi <laughs> Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you in a second. Oh. Not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. Wait, I thought that was our homie. Yeah. Chapter Wait a two. Minute. I'm so confused. Chapter I thought that was two. our friend. He literally dropped that on us and said, we're moving on. He's a Nazi, so you cut him in half. I don't know what's happening. You anymore. should be satisfied. So Jeff Bezos was the bad guy, mm -hmm. but this guy was also the bad guy. Right. But which ones are the bad guys that killed the president? Was that Jeff Bezos? That's yeah, that was uh yeah. But now we've moved on to somebody else. Let's figure out who the new bad guy is. Okay. So Ryden oh! hits his head so badly that he lands in a uh, uh, a different yeah, game. The volume is a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly up. Uh, 
<laughs> it's kind of loud. The graphics are um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses this the Zangatsu to cut through it's the environment blocks. dynamically. Yeah, that uh, it seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night, and is forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. I would hate everything about this. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstheim. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Why are you ran over a child nine miles back? What are you going to do? Good day. Oh, so now oh, you decide to guy. stop. I'm okay, running I'm late. Oh, don't somebody. worry, Raiden. The clown college is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. But I live with my mother. Is this her house? Okay, good stuff. Okay, all right. Oh. Damn. In this duel between two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds, it's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no just monsoon telling me about better. the fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. <laughs> this is the best boss ever, holy shit. Raiden disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey, Raiden! Look at this cool bug I found. Oh, right, and no need to flip out. Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks, strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. This looks great. This is not going well for Ryan. I can just consistently see me flip into the dirt. Playtime's over! Guess I don't have a choice. <sighs> I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No, eyes of cringe. So Raiden goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an AV unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a 5-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax? We'll turn on the radio! Oh... He hated that. Yes, yes, that's good. Sam, doll, give me some of that. Raiden McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere what? quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid Jesus 4 again, and the Clinton Christ. Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. Damn. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. Oh I have kept him alive using the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts. And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad. Oh fuck up. I've returned with a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by yeah. buying a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Okay. Now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking what? space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Take Home <laughs> Say. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. <laughs> Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways what? and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. What? Biden, have you heard of the 
hit game among us. You need to vent, right? And I know it will be hard to be silenced. You might notice something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so, so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a family eye episode. Yeah. No, I wanted to feed you that chocolate. Before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn <laughs> soil like a thousand- They killed a puppy! Yeah, they ran him over. And I'm like the family guy episode, he did not get revived later on because of a regret. He's dead dead. I don't like games where they kill the dog. You barely got to see the dog in any clips. They didn't even do anything but dog. But I, he was a puppy. You don't kill puppies. It's a robot dog. It doesn't even meet the requirements for regular dog. It's still a puppy. So it can't, it's far from puppy. It's still a puppy. <laughs> Thousand year old cicada. Oh my god. What the fuck? I, well, if it isn't sussy Jack. What Bro, are you this? high? Let me check. Yes. High on American <laughs> spirit. And there's Dick nothing Shady. more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weak <laughs> shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. Yeah, this one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. Memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Um, focus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black <laughs> president once before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the nice. fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture where no one can call me out for my outlandish Please. claims. A world where I can say the <laughs> N-word. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, gotcha. I've got my own to debate online. Men are harassed minorities online. In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress, wow. and like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one -one with All I Want for Christmas. Oh my goodness. I'm not joking, although for some reason Biden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my stepdad. Ah, Biden suplexes damn. the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm oh, to have a sword oh. fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> that fight scene. That fight scene was an example of how the only thing that can destroy you is yourself. I'm really hating where you're going with this <laughs> concept where you continuously take these cliches that we wrote when we were in maybe middle school, might have followed us to high school. You are your own hindrance to success. And then he woke up. <laughs> it's just like, okay, stop. It's not profound. Oh my God. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Check it out, Raiden. Oh, I just Lord. got vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> It's ripped. Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. I don't have oh. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. Not us getting our ass off like this. I think you can afford healthcare, right? Because being. the taxpayer oh, can't. his legs so thick. God it's damn. funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck oh, with this, Senator. No. What? Snap into a <laughs> slim gym. Jesus. Typical politician. All oh, cock, but no cum. <laughs> Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic oh, factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> the truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know it's very hard to believe, but that's just what the USA is all yeah, about, baby. Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these lipstick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit! <laughs> I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. Yeah. And for that, 
I want you by my side to build a world truly free from the consequences Stop. of our actions, just like the Please. Founding Fathers <laughs> like the intended. Founding Father intended. What do you say, Raiden? <laughs> Why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist! <laughs> Pussy too! To what the fuck the was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, <laughs> Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Made the full speed. What is going on? <laughs> You need to work on your fitness, uh -oh. like fitness dick in your mouth. <laughs> My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. No. Wait. Raiden, Brian Griffin. You can't give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to resurrect Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, I was always lucky there was a family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska, <laughs> you are the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. <laughs> That's right, I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming yeah. setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, Thanks. but because you ain't ballin' on that stank ass <laughs> Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll let you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little no! dog champ. I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which oh, we used to rely. But stab. this isn't my sword. He broke his broke other sword. It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the hey. final bond. You know, he can be a... This hey. guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a question, and the answer is yes. Start praying, boy. Ah! <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama uh, at will, channeling the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more by race people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. Oh, ultimate freedom of speech, man. Wow. There's just so much happening. I know, it's so hard to keep up with. Dang! Ah! You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. <laughs> okay, that's it, buddy. And in other news, a United States senator no, tragically passed not. away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. The Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Oh. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. Oh. <laughs> Manslaughter doctor? I did that shit on purpose. Damn. 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 Whoa! Wait, so did he get taken over by the other guy because he used the other guy's sword? Because his eyes glowed red. It might just glow red because he's part android or cyborg or whatever. Okay, this was a very great video. Cool, cool, cool. Is the dog alive? No. Did the puppy make it a second time? No, he's, he definitely he went out of his way to boot that pup. But the puppy might still be alive. Man, that was an unexpected ending to say the least about I, this. I literally lost track of how many villains there were. 
We had Slinky Man. Yeah. We had Multi Limbed Woman. Yeah. We had Biden, Dick Cheney. Yep. Uh, Bezos. Bezos. And uh, the hot guy. Multiple robots and one other guy. The so hot guy. there's that. This game was basically just like, what if we took hot guys, turned them into cyborgs, right, and then made them fight weird cyborg creatures? Yeah. And also just added in a little bit of baby murder. Yeah. Whatever happened to the kids? Did he blow up the baby brains or not? Yeah, wait a minute. He didn't give us a, a We ending. don't know. We don't know what happened to the baby brains. He just moved on and was like, I have a bigger fish They're to fry. They're in the building where Jeff oh, Bezos died. The kids are already cyborged up. Maybe you could take your time with another couple hours. They're already in a little soup packet. <laughs> so this just, this, this, ep, this video encourages you to think weird things. Yeah. I already do that enough. I, I don't need more encouragement. After watching these videos though, I feel like playing the real game would be not as interesting. Really? I feel like if we played the real game, we'd feel like, man, there's just like a lot of there's a lot of nuance missing from this that Maxor provided for us, I you think, know? I think watching him play the game himself mm -hmm. and then hearing the commentary yeah. and then us going through the experience again yeah. would be like, damn, I get how he got this. Right. And then even more questions probably would arise there. And also probably some other things would be wrapped up for us that didn't get wrapped up in his True. wrong telling. Yeah, because you didn't, you didn't give us... You didn't give us closure, Maxor, and I need you to do that for me. I'm the kind of bitch that needs closure, okay? You can't was... you can't break up with me and not tell me why, you know? We're not doing this whole, it's not me, it's you shit. Nah, 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 I would like an itemized list of why I'm not good enough for you. One thing I really like about this second part is that after the first part ended, the second part definitely was done and seemed very polished. Yeah. The first part, not that it wasn't polished, but you could tell there's a difference in just how they constructed the jokes for this mm -hmm. second one. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. And also this versus like the Elden Ring, which has come much later. Yes. Is they're very different, even though they're clearly the same person with his style. Yeah. They're very different in like the amount of refined he has, like the jokes and like the organization of the storyline though specifically. Mm -hmm. And so I really enjoy that. I had a great time with these videos. Now. Yes. Coming up soon. Uh-huh. He has one for Devil May Cry 5. Does he really? We're in there. So. Give us a couple days. We gotta do the re-up on Daily Dose of Internet. Uh, we have to do. Casual Geographic. Casual Geographic. We have to do another video game thing by Internet Historian that Internet Historian did. Yes. One other vid or two other vids, then we'll sneak that one in there. Devil May Cry. We've got some answer. SCPs that we've got to That's revisit. That's the other thing. Some SCPs are definitely so, coming up. But that, we'll definitely put it on the docket for next week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skittin' lit.